My name is Roddy DeBee, I'm 24 years old, and this is my story. I ended up in a wheelchair because of a car accident. We crashed a uh, front hole in a fan, and from that point on I had uh, a cord injury, and from that day on I couldn't move my legs anymore. That's why I sit in a wheelchair right now. For the family, it was heavy. Actually, the whole car crash was pretty heavy for the family because it was not just me, because uh, my brother and my grandparents, they died during the crash. So it wasn't just me, it was like a really big thing for our family. Actually, it was for me just like, just give me the wheelchair and I will just continue with my life. It's just something to support my life, the wheelchair, and it's not really something what de defines me. Yeah, I started playing tennis because when I had my accident, all my schoolmates were just going to a football club or anything else. And I was supposed to go to the football club as well, but after my accident I wasn't able to, of course. So I wanted to look for different sports, so I started looking at basketball and I looked at wheelchair tennis. And basketball was a little bit too rough for me. All the old people were throwing each other out of the chairs and I was like, oh hell no, I'm not gonna do this. So. I just found a really good tennis coach, which showed me the pleasure of tennis. It was getting more and more, and eventually I started becoming more professional. And my name is Dennis Porrel. I am head coach from the Dutch Federation Wheelchair Tennis. I started working with Rodi, I think, in 2010. And I was his private coach for several years. He is working very hard to reach his, his goals. A nice and friendly guy. And I think his important goal is to reach Tokyo 2020. He's uh, working hard and he's busy with it. He must make uh, the next step this year on the future ITF2 and ITF3 tournaments. Uh, yeah, hopefully he can uh, reach position uh, 20 or less this year. I think then he's on a good way to reach Tokyo 2020. I just had a practice session this morning. We practice every day at the Cane Hill to be center. But for today, I have to go to my university because I'm still studying. But first, I have to pick up some wheelchair gear, which is uh, needed to replace for my chair. It's still old and I have to replace it right now. So I go to my sponsor and they will give me my new gear. Yeah, you have to look for your sponsors yourself. So you're like a little bit of a company yourself. So you do your own marketing and your own personal branding. And sometimes sponsors come really easily and sometimes it's really hard to get sponsors. Over there you will see the building where I go to when I go to school. I will just, over there is the university and that's the applied science building. That's where I go. At the moment I study finance and control. I'm in my third year, so I have one more year to go because in Holland we do the bachelor in four years. And yeah, I have to do my internship, which is not possible next to my tennis career. So I just I take one year off and after Paralympic Games I want to do my internship and just finish my study afterwards. Uh, my main goal is to just educate myself a little bit more. I just think it's really important to be educated because a lot of Jobs are dependent on education. And you don't get a good job if you don't have the right papers. So at the moment I just want to make sure that after my tennis career I still get a good job. My first international experiences were when I was 12. Uh, I played the junior camps, 
the Young Craft Junior Camps, and yeah, they were really fun. Uh, just playing with people from all over the world and just get to know tennis a little bit better. My priority is to qualify for the Paralympic Games in 2020. And I think it's really hard for me to win it. But yeah, I think you shouldn't go if you don't want to win. I don't think it's like necessarily possible at the moment with my tennis level. But if you go there, I think you should say you want to win.